Good afternoon, welcome to BCHL Central. I'm your host, Tally Campbell, from the final day of the 2013 Bauer Showcase. Today's a quick show as we're doing a live show later on tonight. We'll give you more details of that later on in the show. But first, pass things over to Nick Bazarin, who's talking to the West Kelowna Warriors, David Pope. I'm here with David Pope of the West Kelowna Warriors. David, you were picked in the fourth round by the Detroit Red Wings in the 2013 NHL Entry Draft. How does that feel? Uh, definitely a really exciting experience for me and my family. And, uh, you know, it's just another step, uh, you know, towards becoming a pro hockey player. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm just really excited. Can you talk about where were you when you heard the news and what was the reaction around you? Uh, I mean, my folks decided to stay home in, uh, in Edmonton. Uh, you know, my, my sister came up from Calgary, so uh, we were just sitting in the living room and uh, actually my advisor gave me a call before I'd even seen it come up on the TV screen. So, uh, you know, my dad and my mom and my sister were all jumping up and down with me, so it was just a surreal experience and uh, it was a lot of fun. Now, what is the mindset coming into the season? Of course, having that great elation at the 2013 NHL Entry Draft, knowing that you were picked by one of the teams, the Detroit Red Wings, is that light a fire inside you to be better and continuously improve to make that team? Uh, I think so, for sure. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a standard I want to work towards. Uh, uh, you know, at the, at the end of the day, I just got to play my game, and uh, you know, competing hard is the number one thing I need to do. So, um, yeah, yeah, I guess uh, you know, playing for Detroit would be a dream someday, but uh, you know, it's it's definitely a process. And what did you do during the off season to, come, pardon me, to prepare for this coming 2013-2014 and the BCHL season? Uh, pretty much just training five days a week and in the gym, and uh, you know, that's one of the things I really need to work on. And and uh, you know, I do some power skating and you know, uh, work on my hands and just stay fresh on the ice and and uh, you know, take a little bit of time off with the family and uh, go to the cottage for a week or so. But uh, mostly, uh, mostly in the gym and, and just getting ready for this year. Thank you so much, David. I look forward to seeing you wearing a Detroit Red Wings sweater in the future. Thank you, Nick. And like we said, we're going to give you more details about our live show later on in the show. But first, recapping day two yesterday, Vernon beat Surrey 7-3. Victoria beat Salmon Army in overtime 5-4. Roy McGuire getting the goal. West Corner lost to the Nama Clippers 6-5. Alberni Valley lost to Penticton 3-2. Couch Valley Capitals crawled back to beat Prince George 4-3. And Powell River beat Chilliwack 6-1. Now pass things over to Nick Bowser, who's talking to Ryan Rosenthal from the Quitland Express. I'm here with the captain of the Coquitlam Express, Ryan Rosenthal. Ryan, how do you feel coming back into the season? It's a fresh start. You're at the BCHL Showcase. What do you think your chances are coming out of the Showcase with two wins? Uh, I feel really good about the opportunity to be here. Uh, I think our team has a lot of depth. We've been working really hard in the preseason, and uh, I'm excited to see what we can do. What are some of the things you did in the offseason to prepare for this coming 2013-2014 season? Uh, over the summer, I was training up in, uh, down in Connecticut, I should say, with uh, Brent, Ben Prentice. Uh, at body tuning and uh, I was with a bunch of college guys, professional guys, skating, training four times a week. So we put a lot of work in there. Then uh, in the preseason here, we skated every day, sometimes twice a day, and uh, just to get our legs back under us. So. And how do you feel about some of the younger guys? Of course, you being the captain, you have a big part in the leadership roles. How do you feel about some of the young guys coming up? Of course, Ben Israel on the back end, a lot of things are expected of him. And of course, with the goaltending, you're the guy to talk to. How do you find your uh, role has changed now being the captain? Uh, well, I feel really good about our depth. I mean, we have a lot of older guys, a lot of leadership, and then the younger guys kind of fill uh, some different types of roles. We've got like Jackson Cressy, who's a skilled guy, and then Rice, who's a big hitter on the third line, and we just picked up a new goaltender, so uh, we haven't really seen him play yet, so we're excited to see him in that too. So you're confident about your goaltending situation coming into the season? Yeah, definitely. And even Dushenko, who's starting tonight, has looked really good in preseason, so uh, we're really excited about everything. Thank you, and good luck with the rest of the season. Right, thanks a lot. Great, thank you, Nick. This is it for the third edition of Beach Central from day number three here at the Bauer Showcase. Like we said, quick show today. However, we're getting ready for our live, our first ever live show here on VSBN.ca. That's going to come up about 9 p.m. tonight right here live from the Prospera Center. Make sure check it back out. The link is right now below. Uh, also follow us on Twitter. You can follow BCHL Central at BCHL Central or VSBN at VSBNCA. I'm your host, Tally Count for Nick Bazer and Chris Bonds-Bickland, Bill Stewart. Have a fantastic night. We'll see you back here live at 9 p.m.